Hello everyone, and welcome to Gamesplaining, where I take a look at games, explain them to you, in my kind of way. Now, today we're taking a look at Salt and Sanctuary, a Souls-like game. Uh, very, very much inspired of Dark Souls, except it's a 2D game. Now, uh, we're gonna have a look at it, but remember to subscribe, like, and comment down below what you think of this game if you played it. Now... Salt and Sanctuary, as I mentioned, is a Souls-like 2D platformer. So, the combat system is very similar to Dark Souls. It is, uh, you have your, you have your classic stamina bar, you know. You uh, do your, like, two or three hits and back away. You have your dodge, you have your block with the shield. Um, yeah, you know, that kind of thing. Very similar to the playstyles of Dark Souls. Now, uh, there are obviously some differences. One of the major ones being that it's 2D, so a lot of the challenges sometimes are about platforming as well. Which I find kind of refreshing from playing uh, Dark Souls 3 and uh, Bloodborne, you know. You kind of get a, a different kind of challenge, but the bosses are still, no matter what, very challenging in this game. Here we have uh, me fighting one of the bosses, the False Jester. He's not that hard really, I just kind of fucked up. But... Uh, the combat and the bosses, I'd say the bosses are a bit easier sometimes than Dark Souls, obviously. Working with the 2D plane, you don't have an extreme amount you can work with. Obviously, there are some very inspired bosses in this game. But uh, they are kind of limited in that sort of sense, I guess. Where in Dark Souls, you can have a lot more... Since you have the 3, 3D plane, you can uh, do a lot more with the attacks and uh, the way the bosses pose a threat to you. But uh, this is like a example of one of the basic, you know, bosses. He hits you, you try to dodge him. There are also some very interesting bosses. There is one called the Alchemist, where uh, he basically... He doesn't do that much himself. He just throws out these potions that poison you, summons fireballs and lightning storms and uh, poison slimes. And those are the ones that actually kill you. So in that sort of sense, I'd say the, the game does a very good job at uh, diversing up the boss combat, which is, after all, one of the main focuses in these kinds of games. Now, the equipment and item system in this, also very Souls-like. You find the items uh, out in the wild, out in the map where you're exploring, and uh, then you can use items that you find to upgrade the, the weapons and the armor, all the sort of classic things you do in Dark Souls. Now, uh, the thing that maybe interests me most about this game, that I think is very intriguing, is the way that it does its progression. In this game you have two different resources, you have gold and you have salt. Salt being basically your souls, gold being what you spend when you buy consumable items. You don't spend gold when you upgrade items, you spend salt for that. Salt being souls, basically. But let's have a look at the progression system. Now this is uh, kind of the talent tree. Every time you level up, you get to choose one of these upgrades. Some of them you can put several points into, some of them you can't. But as you can see, this talent tree is massive. Like, this is uh, this is obviously inspired from uh, Path of Exile. But I really like this style. Depending on what kind of route you go down in this tree, or branch, I guess, you go into different areas. Like, the one on the left is basically the sorcery tree, the one on the right being the cleric tree. And then continue up from the left you have the like a focus on bows and crossbows then you have a focus on uh, whips and such now the the progression system is very cool and very interesting you you feel like you have a lot of choice and you kind of feel like you are specifically developing your character in a very specific way and uh, i really like that about the game now here we have another one of the bosses um this is actually one of the ones that are a bit more inspired, I'd say, in this game. Um, the problem I have with it, obviously, is he, he hurts a lot, and he is quite hard to dodge, like, his attacks are very strange, let's say. Um, and I also successfully bug him out in the end. But, from what I've played, I have not finished this game. But from what I've played, this game is actually very big. It kind of... Uh, like, there are several different zones that you get to explore. 
There are uh, so much to find, so much, so many secrets and so many collectibles like items, all these sorts of things that are, you know, kind of classic to Souls-like games. And I'd say that this is a very good job at doing a Souls-like game with a kind of a different style compared to the regular Souls-likes that are literally like, oh yes, well Dark Souls is a popular game, let's just try and do that and change up a few things. This game actually takes that formula and uh, puts it into an entirely different category, I'd say. It is still, obviously, if you play Dark Souls, you are going to be way better at this game. It is obviously very heavily inspired by that genre. But I still feel like it is way different than, uh, let's say, Lords of the Fallen and things like this, because it is a 2D game. I think, actually, this might be one of the games that inspired Dead Cells as well, because Dead Cells, obviously being kind of Dark Souls-inspired as well, with its dodging and its combat mechanics, um, this is actually kind of... I feel like Dead Cells is a development on this, like, it is a continuation of this development, it is faster, um, but there aren't as many hard and heavy enemies as in this. Plus, this has a kind of interesting story. I'm... I think maybe with the story they've taken a little bit too much liberty going towards the Dark Souls route. The uh, story is actually very... Very... Kind of Dark Souls in that way. You don't really know a lot about it. You, uh, you start on this ship, you're supposed to protect this princess. You fail, you die, and then you wake up on the shore. That's when I successfully bug the dragon. Look, the dragon jumped out of its arena. GG. Uh, let's get out of here. And... Winning. That is actually... that is that was, I, I kind of almost left my ass off when that happened. It was very funny. But yeah, the story is a bit too much Dark Souls in the way that they don't really tell you much about the story. But I feel like that might be okay, like, it is an entirely different universe, not very much uh, Dark Souls in that sort of sense, but still, I feel like they could have been more, uh, a bit more creative, maybe a bit more focused on the story, because a lot of the game feels like you just, you, you don't really have a reason to be there. Yeah, you're supposed to save some sort of princess to save the world, but I don't really care about her. I don't know who that is, you don't even get to meet her. If you m would have met her, maybe, it would have been uh, more, like you would have cared more. As it stands right now, like in the game, I don't, I, I don't know, I don't care, I don't, the story is non-existent. But yeah, that is basically uh, Open Sanctuary. I really like this game. One thing that spices up the game compared to a lot of... Uh, because... Let's put it like this. Because it is a 2D game, there are some things obviously it can't do with only its two planes. But then it has these. These are called marks or brandings, where you get special powers to, for example, flip gravity. You also get like a wall jump ability, so you can actually start to platform a bit more. And that is kind of interesting, like, they are adding a lot into this um, platforming element that I did not think would be a focus of the game when I started playing it, to be honest. I did not think that would be a focus. And it really, it really makes me kind of satisfied, actually, seeing that they've decided to do some platforming as well, not just this kind of hard uh, dodge and block focus combat. But that has been Sultan Sanctuary, and I have been Udalad. I hope you liked this video. Remember, if you did, subscribe and comment down below. And I will see you next time.